early on Thursday, upbeat and all ready. Mr. David Lyon of the APC preparing for inauguration as governor of Bayelsa State, an event scheduled for Friday. Soon, the news filtered in to Yenagua from Abuja. The bombshell has been dropped. Mr. Lyon is sacked by the highest court in the land. Spanner in the works. Mr. Lyon's inauguration jettisoned. The camp of the PDP thrown into a start in jubilation. Mr. Seriaki Dixon, the outgoing governor, cannot contain his joy. His supporters are simply in a free flow of joyous display. The Supreme Court has spoken and no other person can speak otherwise. And really, the PDP at this point um, was somehow in this hurry. We were hopeless, but still hopeful and believing that God will see us through. On the street, the feelings are mixed. Some confused, others still in shock. It is surprising me. I think uh, either the government or the court want to set confusion. Because a lot of people are confused how it come to happen at this last uh, minute. Anybody that is coming, whether PDP, APC, ABGA, our own whole, like me as a businessman, I want the, the state to be viable for businesses to grow so that everybody can just enjoy life once off. Political leaders in Bayelsa State are already speaking about the outcome of the Supreme Court judgment. The leadership of the APC in Bayelsa State is asking INEC not to issue a certificate of return to Senator Doye Diri. We are calling on the Independent National Electoral Commission not to issue certificate of return to the candidate of the PDP because the candidate of the PDP was unable to score the required 25% in the two-thirds of the local government. For Mr. Seriake Dixon, he believes it is a great day for democracy in Nigeria. Now that the judicial process, the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in the land, has made a determination, I want to call for tolerance, I want to call for cooperation, I want to call for understanding, I want to call for respect for the processes that are in our system. Bias State has indeed been thrown into an intense political atmosphere with obvious interesting days lying ahead.